What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Denver Broncos team team. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. Comment, subscribe, we're on the road to 225. So guys, hit that button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot, helps the channel out a lot. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So guys, as you can tell by my beautiful top three and the title of the video, you know who we're going to talk about today and it's going to be my guy, Vernon Davis. Let's take a look at this guy. So he's actually the first drop that we've had since I started the entire series. We pretty much all we've done so far is kind of had like an overview video of what the Denver Broncos theme team is. I haven't had any gameplay on them up until today. And let's start with Vernon Davis. So this guy's actually way faster than I thought he would be. Um, with Max Sprinter, he's got 98 speed, 87 strength, 98 catching, 93 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 92 short, 90 medium, and 82 run block. So he's actually the second fastest guy on my entire offense. Jamal Charles, Vernon Davis. That's insane. Like none of my receivers are as fast as Vernon Davis. Like who would have thought my tight end is faster than all my wide receivers combined? Like Emmanuel Sanders, Tim Patrick, Ed McCaffrey. All these guys are sitting around probably like 96 speed. Kind of sad if you think about it, but I, we still get it. We still get it working sometimes. You know, it's it's all about scheme over team and. As long as you have some good routes and a good route combination and stuff like that, you're going to get these guys open. Um, it definitely helps that I have route tech on Ed McCaffrey and Emmanuel Sanders. We do have tight end apprentice on Vernon, so I do have four additional hot routes that I can put him on. I need to experiment more with that. I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to use it too much, just because like I just I need to I need to lab. Period. Ever since this patch came out, it's like my entire offense went down the toilet. My entire defense also went down the toilet because zone, especially cover three and cover four and all those got buffed. And then as far as like your zone beaters, like your cover three beaters, all of that is no longer a thing. So this is my actual first gameplay video, uh, just kind of attempting to do well with the patch. And it just in general, I have not done good since the patch has come out. So I definitely need to go back into the lab and figure something out. Um, before we go into that, I do want to go over Garrett Bowles. I did have him for a little bit now. It's just like, what am, I'm not going to make a video about alignment. It's just awkward. Like, what do you do? Run in his direction and hope that he blocks. Like, it's it's hard to keep an eye on him the entire time. But, uh, yeah, he's got 90 strength, 93 awareness, 98 pass block, 92 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, 94 run block, 92 run block power, 94 run block finesse. So, he's pretty much your average 94, 95 overall lineman. Uh, he's actually the best lineman that we have now. It used to be uh, Graham Glasgow. Over at the right guard, he's an 88 overall, but we still have guys sitting around 72, 78, 79, but Garrett is definitely, definitely helps. Um, hopefully we get some more drops later down the road. And yeah, so that is the offense. It's, it's crazy as it seems, you know, Vernon Davis and Jamal Charles are going to be the best guys on this team. Um, I'm assuming maybe one day we're probably going to get like a Peyton Manning or... Maybe, I don't know, John Elway. There's there's a couple of guys that I would I would want to see on this team going down the road. But yeah, as far as it is right this second, this is the team. This is the offense. Definitely needed Vernon Davis. Noah Fant was already pretty good, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Vernon Davis, I mean, Noah Fant probably could have got the job done, okay? He's got he's pretty fast still. But Vernon Davis, it just he's probably like top three at this point, if not the best uh, tight end in the game. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to show you him. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump into a game. Alrighty, guys, here we go. I'm feeling a little rusty. I'm not going to lie. I haven't played this game probably for a couple days now. And like that just seems like an eternity in Madden. For real, it really does. So here we go. Uh, go figure. <laughs> Our first gameplay video is against another Broncos team. I don't think they're a Broncos theme team or anything like that. But they do have uh, Broncos um, uniforms and the stadium and all that. So... That's just interesting. Okay, so here we go. Tim Tebow under center. We got Jamal Charles back there. Let's see what is going to happen. We got... All right, Jamal. I'm about to say, like, if we can't get any separation here. All right, so he's been... Uh, he's using cover three sky. Big surprise. Ever ever since they buffed, uh, you know, zone and stuff, I kind of figured that's pretty much all anybody's going to be doing. And Ed McCaffrey, what are you doing? So Ed McCaffrey almost caught that ball. This is... It's just the receivers, bro. Like, the entire offense and receivers is just... It's just frustrating. Oh my goodness, Tim Patrick, what a catch. So I've been in the lab a little bit just to see what gets open with the new uh, patch. Especially with, like, you know, cover three and everything. Like, I, I have been in the lab a little bit. We're going to have to try a couple plays here. 
All right, so Jamal's a little tired. I'm a little nervous about that. He looks like he's trying to blitz up the break. The... Yeah, he's definitely trying to blitz up the middle here. And he got me on that one. He did get me on that one. Looks like he's just spamming that blitz for right now. Hopefully the drags gets open here. Yep. And there we go, Vernon Davis. Let's go, first down. So he was in cover two last time. I'm hoping that this play gets open here. Let's just see if... I mean, it's Ed McCaffrey trying to run this shit, so it's just... <laughs> It's a little rough trying to watch him do anything, to be honest. Let's go Vernon Davis again. Like, thank you. Alrighty. That was awesome, actually. I didn't think we were going to get a pass at all. I didn't think we were going to get anything done at all. Woo! He almost had me, though. <gasps> oh, my God. We fumbled. Oh, God. I'm not going to lie. That was scary as hell. <laughs> that was scary as hell. I knew Jamal Charles was tired, but, like, damn. Ah, oh, tiptoe. Come on, man. All right, so we're on his nine-yard line, boys. Here we go. Just got to punch this thing in there. Come on, Jamal. There we go. First down. Let's go. So I'm not going to even try to pass. Not really. Not in the not in the red zone here. Just got to hope that we can get some... There's no, there's no holes. This is the most frustrating thing. It's just like my offensive line cannot get any holes for me to even go through. It's just like they don't create any separation for me to get there. Like... Come on now. I'm hoping that the trickery will help me out, but it's not going to. Oh my god. All right, guys. So I haven't tried this particular play from this far out before. Like, I'm going to just try to just go right up the middle here. Get a block. Tim Tebow. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Tebow time, baby. I legit did not think I was going to get there. <laughs> I was like, we're kind of far out. I mean, from five yards out, we, we, I mean, we missed a kick. That's, that's terrible. Well... I'm pretty sure that the Broncos have the worst kicker. McManus is garbage, okay? He'd be missing kicks way too much. Way, way, way too much. Ugh. Just gotta play good on defense. So I did... Oh, no. Shaq Barrett is on the... Oh, dang it. I forgot. Get him. There we go, boys. All right. We had Shaq Barrett in there by accident, but we took him out. So hopefully that'll help us. Yeah, he's just trying to spam Derrick Henry. What else you got, buddy? <laughs> what else you got, bud? Over here just spamming Derrick Henry. He's got Rich Gannon, so, I mean, this could be this could be bad. This could definitely be bad. <sighs> Let's go! Champ Bailey. Alright, so he's still... It's fourth down and he's going for it, so he must feel pretty confident that he can get it, regardless. Stop him anyway! Did we... Yes, we did! Let's go! All right, that was huge. That was actually huge. I can't believe we actually got that. I really thought, I didn't think we, get out. Let's go, Jamal. Let's go. Jamal Charles, let's go. Touchdown, baby. Oh, he might be quitting, guys. He might be quitting right here. And hopefully he does. Yes, he did. Let's go. Let's go, Broncos. All right, guys, so there you have it. Our first gameplay is in the books, and we got a W, so that's always nice. Um, I wish I would have got Vernon Davis a little bit more involved. I think he maybe had, like, maybe two or three catches, and then other than that, it was just kind of just me trying to improvise the entire time. Um, yeah, this new, this new patch kind of messed me up. I've had to lab offense. I'm still labbing as we speak. I'm trying to figure out if man is even a thing anymore, if, if it, I can get away with Because I used to play man all the time, right? And just it seems like zone is the way to go now. So I might practice zone uh, even more than I do now. In the past, in the gameplay that you just saw, I was playing man just because that's what's what I'm comfortable with. But in general, I might have to go play some zone going forward. But uh, yeah, guys, um, team is good. I love the team. I just need to get a good scheme. You know, like scheme over team always, right? So I just once I get some good offense and some good defense, I feel like it won't be that hard to win games going forward. I think I just got lucky, to be honest with you. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. It is what it is, guys. Uh, guys, if you like the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we're on the road to 225, so hit that button if you haven't already. And that's going to be it for me on this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your support. And until next time, peace out, guys.